it felt like at that point we got him all his ears, that deal with that dog and everything else. Alright, see you in a week, buddy. The day has come. You guys ready to see this? She's not done yet, but we did something to her. And I like it. Leave it in the comments what you think. Bam. But now you got <laughs> Safari tan. We got a few of the rust spots uh, covered up. They look good. Still got to get the uh, back windshield replaced. And they took the bed off. There's another big, big rust spot right here uh, that he did a great job of fixing. So, super happy with the color. I'm glad we ended up going with the paint. I know a lot of you guys said uh, go with the Line X or Rhino Line, stuff like that. And we talked to several people and they just said do not do it. It's a hassle. Y'all leave in the comments what I should do to this truck to make it even better than it is right now. See you guys whenever we get the bed put back on. And then uh, we got a few more touches we're going to do to it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Today is a day y'all have probably been waiting for. And I know I've been waiting for it for a while. I did a few videos as it was coming together and uh, I'll put that in like a little montage or something. But um, the little truck is just about done. Here it is. It is painted. Um, we did all kinds of stuff to this truck. I didn't do it. Gary did all kinds of stuff to this truck. If you remember from the last video that I did, um, this whole back glass panel was shattered out. So they replaced that whole black back glass. Um, obviously we repainted the whole uh, outside of the truck, repainted the bed. I uh, need to do the wood. I probably need to redo the wood on the uh, flatbed in the next year or so. But so when I got the truck, we put brand new wheels and tires on it. So those are still good. Let's see what all he did. He sent me a list of things he did. Yeah, so he did the uh, front brakes, carburetor, and uh, some other little things that I don't really know about. And then uh, he put the lights back up back up top but I think I'm gonna take those off he rewired them you can see in here he made so this is the switch for um, those lights up there but I think I'm gonna rewire those and put a light bar up there because we are putting a, um, a high rack back here we have a nice high rack out of one of our old mules that we're gonna re-weld so it fits hopefully we can make it to where it fits into these slides on each side and then um, that way I don't have to keep it in all the time. I can take it off, take it out, whatever I need to do. So he redid the, redid the, um, all the back lights, put in a backup light. Uh, he did a lot of stuff for this truck. I'm pumped about it, but so all, what I have to do, I'm about to go hunting in it. I already got my bow loaded and everything. So what I'm going to do, this is just like a bunch of electrical tape all tied together and it's real sticky and nasty. So I was either gonna make, we still have to get a, a boot for that too. I either wanna make like a, like a shifter handle out of like the bottom of an elk antler or a deer antler or something. But if y'all have a cool idea, leave it in the comments because we need a cool shifter knob. And then uh, we got the dash. So everything in here that's camo is being replaced. So these, so these door panels, have to order new door panels um, this is all gonna come off I'll sand that that stuff off and then uh, and then this whole dash right here will be replaced all this is gonna be new um, same on that side new door panel and uh, take that tape off the top and that's about it as far as inside uh, I am gonna get some new seat covers for it because these seat covers are super baggy and they're not meant for, these are meant for, we have a, t a Toyota Land Cruiser too. And I think these came out of there. This is what I'm thinking. Since I had y'all kind of comment and, um, and decide on what color and whether we should paint it or do like the Rhino lining stuff. Most of the comments were paint. There was a lot of comments for the Rhino lining, but I did some research on it and my paint guy even said it's just not worth it. It's heavy and it peels off. Once a little piece starts peeling, it just all comes off and starts to look dirty. So, and it's really hard to clean is what he said. So now that we got it painted, Safari Tan, what do y'all think about a Mullet Man logo on either side of the door or on the hood? 
Y'all leave it in the comments, should I do a magnet, a sticker, like a decal, or should I get somebody to like hand paint it on there? Um, I'm thinking a magnet would be best just because it's not gonna mess up the paint and it won't scratch off. If I'm going through a bunch of cedar trees, I think just paint would just get scratched and start looking dull after a while. But then one more thing that we have to decide on this truck is a name. So y'all decided on the critter getter on the mule. By the way, that video is coming very soon. We're going to get that wrapped in the next couple days. So stay tuned for that video. But y'all need to name the Toyota. It is a 1984 Toyota truck, 4x4 from Venezuela that I traded a kid for a dirt bike. I traded my dirt, my racing dirt bike for this truck. So we got it redone. Now y'all have to name it. Leave it in the comments. Whoever wins the name, whoever gets the name, I will give you a Yeti cup with a hat and stickers. So whoever comes up with the best name gets a free cup, hat, and stickers. I think it is pretty awesome. It's gonna look a lot better once we get the uh, high rack in the back and then some new lights and then maybe maybe put a little bumper on it but i don't think it really needs it it's just a plain toyota bumper so this video is just a little update on uh the truck but not only that we are doing a huge sale starting today i think it's the 17th when this post so the 17th we're gonna run the sale for a whole month. Every $20 spent is gonna be an entry into a hunt giveaway. Every $20 spent on my website, mulletman.net, will count as an entry. First winner will uh, come out to my ranch two days. You can bring a friend. Um, you'll come down to Texas. I'll pick you up. We'll go out to the ranch and go after a Texas gold medal ram. Um, as many pigs as you can possibly shoot. We'll go out calling at night for coyotes, bobcats, foxes, and uh, just have a good time. Shoot at the skeet range, uh, go shoot rifles at the rifle range. We'll do whatever y'all wanna do. We can go fishing in the ponds, whatever you guys wanna do. So make sure you get over to my website. We're gonna run it for four weeks. It's gonna be four, it's gonna be a four week sale. I uh, got some new merch coming out. This is already on the website. I think we have one other uh, shirt on the website and then another shirt's gonna be up next week. So you have four weeks to get entered. So for the giveaway, we're not just doing a hunt, we're doing 10 winners. The first person that wins is gonna get the hunt. Second person that wins is going to get a Mullet Man Orca cooler. It's got my logo on the top. Um, I don't know how big this one is. 20 quart cooler, awesome little cooler. I keep mine in the bed of my truck all the time. And then you'll also win two of these mugs. So winners three through 10 will win stickers a mug and a hat. Let's go over that one more time. The number, the first person that I pick, and it's all gonna be random drawing, so don't think that it's gonna be rigged or anything like that. All random drawing, every $20 at moldman.net will count as an entry. First random draw will be the hunt giveaway. You can bring a friend. It'll be two full days of hunting. Um, you can bring a friend down. You'll get to shoot a trophy ram, as many hogs as you can, and we will go call for coyotes, bobcats, foxes, and fishing if y'all wanna fish. Have a great time at the ranch. Winner two will win this 20 quart mullet man cooler and a um, Arctic mullet man cup. And then every winner after that will win a Arctic cup with a hat and stickers as well. So be sure y'all get over to mulletman.net. You got four weeks. After four weeks is over, I will draw all the names. I'll do a video on it. I'll do a video on all the winners and um, I'm excited to go hunting with one of you. Y'all leave it in the comments if y'all want me to do more giveaways like this. Um, we can definitely do it. We got stuff at the ranch. I want to bring more of you out there to go hunt and experience what I do pretty much every day. So I know I didn't do a whole lot in this video, but I'm headed to the deer stand. I will film if I get something. It'll be added to this video. If not, y'all see me in the deer stand very soon. But thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment on a name for the old Toyota. And uh, catch you in the next one.